I won't have to worry about what to put on. I won't have to worry about where to lay my head. What is the program of God? Very simple. I have said, I've been saying it from last Sunday. Very, very simple. Let your seed money go to work for you so that you can be free to concentrate on more noble things of this life. The way you are dying for money. And money doesn't care if you die. Have you ever considered that? That money doesn't care if you die. It doesn't. It doesn't matter how hard you are working for it. The day you die, somebody will just carry the thing and be going. And he won't blink an eye. He won't sue once, one soon. <laughs> what is the program God has put in place so that you and I will be free in order to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness? What program has God put in place so that you and I won't have to worry about what to eat, but we will eat. Won't have to worry about what to put on, yet we will put on. Won't have to put worry about where to lay our head. We will have so much place to lay our head and invite others to come and lay their heads under our shed. What is the program of God concerning you? Mark Chapter 4, verse 26. The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. <laughs> the kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. Pay close attention to the words there. To scatter seeds means to sow seeds. To sow what? To sow seeds. To sow seeds where? To sow seed on the ground. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 17, when God was pronouncing judgment on man because he had fallen, he said, now cursed be the ground. That explains why so many people work and yet nothing comes out because the ground is cursed. That is why I'm saying that there are so many people working and yet what is coming out of the work they are doing is never sufficient to meet their very basic needs. Since you started working, when have you had enough money to put aside to go for holiday, you and your wife and your three children? That this one month, myself, my wife, my three children, we are going for holiday. That out of the money that you have, you have gone to buy tickets to travel for one month. You go and sit in a hotel and pay. You tell your wife, enough of kitchen. Do you smell kitchen? So come. Let somebody do the cooking for us and let us sleep. When we wake up, let somebody come and make the bed for us. Let somebody, for goodness sake, when will you live? The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. The operation in the kingdom is likened to this. Likened to what? A man should take seed and put on the ground. That is why I said the difference between the rich and the poor is in what they eat. The poor are always eating seeds. Whilst the rich are always eating fruits. I have also said, wherever you are working now, whatever you are able to generate, they are seeds 
and never fruits. It is not you that will bear fruit. It is the tree that is coming out of the ground that will bear fruit, not you. Whatever your source gives you, he gives you in seed form. Whatever God gives you, he gives you in seed form. So when you take that which is coming from your source and you eat, you are eating raw seed. How is it done in the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. Now look at verse 27. He says, and should sleep by night and rise by day and the seed should sprout and grow. Hey, underline that. And the seed should sprout and grow. And the seed, not you, the seed should sprout and grow. It is the seed that has the capacity to grow. And he continues in verse 27. He makes it very simple. He himself does not know how. That is why I said to you, you were not designed. You don't have the capacity. You cannot because the, the mechanisms by which a, a seed multiplies itself in 30, 160 folds, you don't have that capacity. You can't go and do the work that the seed has to do. You can't. You were not designed for that. Verse 27. And he should sleep. So you can imagine the person who has not put any seed on the ground. What will sprout? What will germinate and grow? What? He doesn't have any seed. Oh, Verse 28, look at it. For the earth yields crops by itself. <laughs> For the earth yields crops by itself. It is not your business. You can't do what the earth is supposed to do. Yours is to put the seed in the earth. And then you go and sleep and wake up. Whatever processes go on underneath there for the seed to come out, the two grains of corn now comes out to be 100 grains. That is not your business. Mind your business. For the earth yields crops by itself. It is only when you have an understanding of this that you enter into the glory and the blessings of God. When you partner with God, when you, by faith, you say, oh ye of little faith. When you have enough confidence that when you put your seed on the ground, the ground will accept the seed Work with the seed and instead of two grains that you put on the ground, they will bring out for you 100 grains. That is the program God has put in place for you so that you will enjoy 100 grains instead of you licking around two grains. When your child is hungry and you have only two grains, you call the first child, come, take only one grain, put in your, and don't chew it, or don't bite it, or don't use your, just use your tongue to be like, when you do that for two minutes, you bring it out because your junior brother must also lick. That is how majority of human beings are living. Licking grain. Because you dare not swallow it. But you know, after how long will you lick and be satisfied? They don't lick grain. 
they sow grain. 